Hi, thanks for logging on to butlersports.com. This is the Beth Kuchar Show. This season has really flown by Butler's first in the Atlantic 10 Conference. Just two games remaining in the regular season. The Bulldogs host Temple on Wednesday night at Hankel Fieldhouse for Senior Day. And then on Sunday, the Bulldogs close the regular season at Duquesne in Pittsburgh. We're going to talk to head coach Beth Kuchar about those games. We'll also look back at last week. Butler beat St. Louis at St. Louis and uh, had a tough loss to Richmond at home. We'll also talk about the seniors and their impact on the program, and we'll even break down a little film here on the Beth Kuchar Show. Welcome back to the Beth Kuchar Show on Butler Sports. Dot com. We are now joined by the head coach of the Butler Bulldogs, Beth Kuchar. Coach, uh, thanks for taking some time and, and hanging out with us today. Thanks for having me, Josh. Well, Coach, uh, we'll first um, just kind of review last week's two games real quick. Uh, on the road at St. Louis, it was a grinded out game. You led the whole time mm -hmm. and, and was able to pull it out late. Yeah, really proud of our girls. You know, they're a tough team. Um, they're guard oriented. They came in and, and, you know, obviously everybody right now is trying to better their seed. So we came in shooting the ball really well. I thought we were leading the whole time and then they made their run and I thought we did a really good job of withstanding that. You know, this year that's hurt us a couple times, but come down the wire, we made plays down at the end and ended up winning by five. So I was really proud of our girls. It was a great road win for us. You know, the, the two key performances in that St. Louis game was Darius. Darius was 11 for 12, shooting 22 points. And Hannah Douglas had her best game. She had 20 points. It was her best game. Uh, since she had 31 against Wright State last season. I mean, just kind of talk about Darius and Hannah in that mm -hmm. St. Louis game. Well, Darius was really good, as, as always, you know, but we felt like we could really get the ball inside to her. And honestly, Josh, we were trying to figure out all the kind of plays we could. And she was getting them deep. And when she gets people deep, she can really put it in a hole. So I thought, you know, to have 22 points and she didn't even hit a three, I thought it was a really strong performance. But the key was Hannah, you know, because they were trying to take Taylor out of it and um, Hannah to come in and, and score like she did six for seven from the floor and give us an inside out was really the difference I thought in the game and down the stretch Hannah hit a couple threes so I thought that was the difference to have us to be able to leave there with a good road win. Coach that was also one of the few teams uh, in St. Louis that, that you have played in recent seasons mm -hmm. I mean a lot of these teams you look back at the history and you know for instance Temple this week hadn't played them since the 80s a lot of teams uh, in this A-10 schedule you're playing for the first time but St. Louis you did have uh, had seen before just kind of what did that mm -hmm. help you in, in that game well I think knowing the area and knowing the gym and um, you know they have a new coach so the system was different but the personnel a lot of those seniors were freshmen so you could see them growing up and and getting better but I think it does help it gives you some familiarity that you don't have any other teams now quickly on Saturday you had a home game against Richmond uh, lost it um, and Richmond was behind Butler in the in the standings but it was a pretty good Richmond team mm -hmm. with, with uh, some good pieces and uh, we came up on the short end. Well, I think you have to give them credit. You know, they really executed and, and hit shots. Probably the best I've seen on any of the film I watched. But, you know, had a great game plan. They were going to crowd uh, Darius, which we're going to see all the time. You know, they sent three at her at, at times. And we're just going to have to have other kids step up and make shots. And um, I think they did a good job of trying to stop our transition also. But the, the where we lost was on the defensive end. We just weren't in tune with what we needed to be doing. I thought our kids adjusted in the second half and played hard and had a good second half, but we lost the game in the first half. And that's disappointing at home. But, you know, Josh, at this point of year, you just got to learn from a few things, but you got to move on. We got another game Wednesday, and um, we're still trying to keep worry about our seed. So we just got to play hard and, and have a good practice today and get going. You know, you talk about moving on and, and, you know, keeping things going and getting back on track. You know, what do you do at this time of year? You know, it's February and you're trying to spend less time on the floor in practice, and you're trying to save your legs. You know, how do you, how do you, after a loss, how do you get the team back on track? Well, I think this team is easy because they feel the, the loss. You know, you don't have to worry about them not being upset about the loss. But I think you bring a couple things to the table that we need to improve on. You know, I don't, you can't change everything right now at this point. But what are two things that we did on, on Saturday that we think we need to do better to win on Wednesday? And then we got to prepare for Temple. Um, I think the biggest thing about practice after a loss like that is have an upbeat, energetic practice. Have everybody feel good after they leave, and I think then you just move on. And that's what where our goal is to do today in practice and, and make our kids feel that kind of energy, and I think we'll be fine. Well, Coach, uh, you know, there weren't a ton of positive highlights from that game against Richmond, but let's take a look at three okay. of them. Uh, we're going to break down uh, a couple of clips. Uh, this first one is a nice left-handed finish by Darius McClung. 
Yeah, when when Darius gets you deep and, and, and can go to work, you know, we just feel like she's as good as anybody in the A-10. But right here, she just sets him up and does a nice little hook with her left hand, which is, you know, hard to defend because she has so many moves, you know, that she can put on you. And I, and I think that was a great decision at that time. And also the pass, I mean, you know, the, your post dives down there, almost like a straight dive, um, you know, vertical in, and, and Liz Stratman finds her with a nice pass. Yeah, we're trying to do a lot of high-low because I think it's hard to defend Liz and Darius and, and Amanda Raker in there. So I thought they did a good job of finding each other. Well, let's move on. Uh, and another clip is, is a Mandy McDivitt three-pointer from, uh, from the wing off a screen from Darius yeah. McClung. Well, this was actually going to be a ball screen, but what happened is the girl got caught behind the screen, and, and of course, Darius and her smart, she understood that, and, and Mandy gets a big three right there that, you know, was giving us some hope there in the second half. I thought Mandy had a solid game defensively and offensively. You know, Mandy has made her mark this year defensively, often guarding the other team's best perimeter mm -hmm. player. But she's been making the three-pointer mm -hmm. a little bit recently. Yeah, she sure has. I mean, Mandy's been taking the shots we need her to take and, and hitting them. You know, we asked her, hey, take these open shots and be 50%. And since we've asked her, she's done that. I mean, Mandy does everything that a coach wants her to do. She works hard. She comes into gym. So, you know, I'm just happy for Mandy and her junior year and her, the success she's had. And this last thing we're going to look at is a, is a pick and roll between a, a freshman guard finding Liz Stratman and Blair Langloy passing inside to uh, Liz Stratman. Yeah, it was a good find, and I think Blair probably saw this was open from the bench because she, we had that all game, but finally Blair found it, and Liz kept the ball high and scored, and, you know, that's what we need to do off our pick-and-roll situations. And, you know, when, when you look at a, a play like that, I mean, those are, you know, two young players, two relatively new players to the program, you know, finding things open and, and intricacies and things like mm -hmm. that. I mean, that's probably a really a positive sign, I would think, in that fact that, you know, you've got inexperienced players making experienced mm -hmm kinds of plays. Yeah, Josh, it's funny you say that. We were talking about that in our coaches meeting. You know, we're still learning our offense, even though we have some um, some kids that had some experience. You got Taylor, you got Darius, you got Strat. They've never played in our in our system. So they're still trying to learn the little things that help our offense work. And, and we got to continue to coach them up with that. We will uh, take one more break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about what's up ahead on the next week. This is the Beth Kuchar Show on butlersports.com. Segment three of the Beth Kuchar Show on butlersports.com. Uh, we just took a look back at last week's games, a win over St. Louis, a loss to Richmond. Two games left on the schedule, uh, one at home and one on the road. Uh, Coach, you've got a senior day game on Wednesday uh, against Temple where you're going to recognize two of your seniors, uh, and uh, we'll get to that in a second. But first, uh, this is an important game. You've got to win it. Yeah, it is important. I think they're all important right now because you want to be playing your best basketball right now. Uh, Temple's very athletic. Um, they're young like us. Um, they're going to come in ready to play. They're trying to improve their seed. So I think we just got to take care of the basketball, run our stuff. But the thing is we've got we to defend, and we're going to work hard on that next couple of days of getting our defense in order, and I think we'll be fine. You know, uh, you know, part of that is the senior day thing. And you've, you've got a senior player in Becca Bornhorst, and she has a unique story. Uh, and then, you know, one thing that a lot of casual basketball people don't understand is all everything that is entailed to running a program and every day with practices and travel and the things that people don't really see. And you have a manager, uh, Evan Eichhorn, who's really outstanding in that area. Just kind of talk about Becca and Evan and their impact on and off the court for Butler women's basketball. Well, Becca, to me, is the example of our program. You know, she definitely understands the Butler way and puts the program before herself. I mean, she's been injured all year, and about two weeks ago, she's like, I think I could help us a little bit. Can I play? Can I get some practices in and play? So she's playing, and I think that just shows how much passion she has for our program. And um, we want this day to be the best day for her to remember. So I know everybody will bring it come hard to play. She will be starting for us. And then we'd like everybody to stick around after the game because we're going to have our ceremonies after the game this year. It's a little different. Um, give Becca a chance to talk to the crowd and, and, and us honor her. So, you know, it's going to be a special day. It'll, it'll be an emotional day, but uh, a day that we're all going to bring 100% energy and 100% work ethic into. As far as Evan, you're right. You know, I mean, people don't understand. I mean, Evan does all our video. Um, Evan makes sure everything's ready for away games and um, home games. And 
um, everything. You know, they're here. Our managers are here as long as the coaches are or longer after games and as early as the coaches are or earlier. So we'll be excited to um, um, give Evan his award that day and, and let him know how important he's been to our program. And You're almost going to have to pull him away from all the stuff he's doing to yeah. walk out there with his mom and dad. He's going to be worrying about chairs and water and <laughs> – video and you need to just tell them to yeah. relax well maybe the coaches can take care of all the uh, chairs water and video for this day but yeah it'll be a great day for us to honor these two people that have been so special to our program well that's great always a big day uh, for uh, Butler women's basketball we will uh, also look ahead uh, to the regular season finale and that's at Duquesne Duquesne a really good team a good mm -hmm. program with a good tradition they are you know we went up there in the WNIT they're gonna have a great crowd they're well coached and you know, I've got to see them some. I haven't moved on that much, but I know they have a couple of really good individual talents on that team that can really score the basketball. So, you know, we're going to have a quick turnaround, but we got to worry about Temple first, and then we'll prepare for our last away game. But our kids have done well on the road being, being prepared and ready to go, so I, I feel like that will continue for us. Well, that was head coach Beth Kuchar and her thoughts. Uh, Bulldogs at home Wednesday night. It's senior day against Temple at Hangle Fieldhouse. That tips at 7 o'clock. And then the Bulldogs play at Duquesne on Sunday. Uh, that was head coach Beth Kuchar. You can keep up with Butler women's basketball on butlersports.com.